They just delivered this massive box off the truck in my garage here, and I am so excited to open this up. And I thought today I'd share this with you. I think you're gonna think this is really exciting what's in here. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and this is a massive box that just got delivered in my garage, and I'm super excited to share with you what's inside, because I cannot wait to open this up. Now, I don't normally do unboxing videos, but this one I think is gonna be kinda special. Now, before we get started, before I show you what's inside here, I wanna let you know that this is not sponsored. I have no affiliation with the company, and for you middle-aged men that are sitting on your parents' couch ready to troll me, just relax, we got this. All right, are you ready to see what's inside? This is gonna be cool, guys. This is my brand new low profile rooftop tent. Let's open the box. Well, there she is. This is my brand new rooftop tent. This is the Roof Nest Falcon, and boy, I tell you, I'm excited to test this thing out. Uh, this rooftop tent I have seen online, and I've seen pictures of it, but I have actually never seen it in person. And I gotta say, first impressions are really nice. Now look, you know I like to do long-term tests of things, and we'll be doing long-term tests, but today I just wanna kind of take some close-up looks and share those with you, give you my initial impressions of just what I'm seeing here. But this is the two-person tent, and uh, it's aluminum, it's flat, it's only six and a half inches high. It's super low profile, which is gonna be great going down the road because you're not gonna have that big wind resistance. This is gonna be pretty cool. Let's walk around and take a look at some of the specs, and then we'll open it up and take a look inside. This is the Roof Nest Falcon aluminum clamshell tent that they sell in two sizes, and this is the smaller version. This is a two-person rooftop tent that measures 50 inches by 85 inches and stands only 6.5 inches tall when fully closed. And it only weighs 135 pounds, which is lighter than the last two tents I've tested out. It has a hard shell with accessory tracks that you can mount some stuff to like lights or awnings. Plus, they offer some optional crossbars that can hold up to 100 pounds. So you could possibly throw up a couple mountain bikes or a canoe or whatever up there. A great feature. All right, now that we've taken a look at the outside and all the specs, so let me open this up for the first time. I'm really excited to see what's inside here. Now, I'm assuming there's some, some latches or something that I've got to attach, but right now it looks like this should just pop right open. So let's see how well this goes. Oh, look at that. No hands. Hey, that's gonna be super nice at camp. That's a super fast setup. Did you see that? And that's it, we're ready to go. Pull this little bungee cord off of here, zip the doors up, we can crawl inside. All right, let me give you a tour around the outside and the inside. Man, this is gonna be super nice at camp. The tent fabric is a heavy duty polyurethane coated polyester and cotton blend. It has three doors with mesh screens and all the zippers and fabric appear to be very durable. The back door of the tent has an awning that can either be deployed or rolled up and put out of the way. There was a box of several pieces of mounting hardware. To start off, there are two heavy duty latches that actually have some keys included so you can lock them up. The latches and the other accessories slide onto the aluminum rails and are easily secured with Allen bolts. The latches are very secure, but I did have to apply a little pressure to the top of the tent to get the latches to open and close. There are two accessory mounts for inserting the bottom of the awning poles, and these are easily installed the same way as the latches. They just slide into place, and then the base of the tent pole slides into the hole and then applies tension to the awning. And I'll say there's enough tension to the awning that I don't think these will flap around in heavy winds. There is one aluminum handle for assisting with opening and closing the tent. And I think a few more of these mounted on the sides would really make taking the tent on and off the vehicle just a little bit easier. Something to think about. There are four ladder mounts, which allows mounting of the ladder to any two of the three door locations, depending on your preference. 
The ladder is eight and a half feet tall and very sturdy and secures it nicely to those mounts. My only concern with the ladder is that you will not be able to store it inside the tent. While most tents, the ladder can be stored inside the tent or on top under the cover. Because this tent is so thin, you can't close up the tent with the ladder inside. So you're going to have to find a place to put the ladder. This last bit of hardware here is for securing the tent to your vehicle's roof rack system. Depending on your application, these bolts will slide into the bottom of the tent and then attach the stainless steel mounting hardware around whatever bracketry you have. And for those inquiring minds that want to know how it will fit on their application, the two tent rails from center to center are 23 and a half inches apart. Closing up this rooftop tent is extremely easy. Just pull the bungee cord around to help tuck in all the fabric and then pull down on that supplied handle. Nice and smooth. Then go around and tuck in all the fabric and then just latch it up. Now I don't have the latches here in this picture but you already saw how to do that. So easy. This is going to be so nice at camp when it comes time to pack up. Alright, let's go take a look inside the tent. All right, look, I know doing a rooftop tent review in my garage is not really the cool thing to do, but I really just wanted to take a look at this today. All right, now I'm going to hop in here and let's see how this mattress feels, and then we'll take a look at all the stuff inside. Hopefully I don't fall down. Hopefully this works. Oh, yeah. Wow, there's a lot of room in here. Come on in. All right, so inside the tent is a lot roomier than I expected. Now I've got a ton of headroom. In fact, I can get up on my knees here and all the way up and I can come up with all the way up there without hitting my head, which is going to be nice for, you know, changing your clothes or whatnot. Now I'm six foot two. And so laying from head to toe, if I'm on my back and my toes are pointing up, they do hit the roof just a little bit, but not a big deal. Uh, it's got this net inside here, which I don't know, let's be honest, what are you actually gonna put in there? It's all just gonna slide down. Uh, maybe I can hook up a little lantern or something in here. Uh, but anything you put in there that's gonna have any kind of weight is just gonna slide right down. You do have two pockets here, which is good. You know, I always like to put my cell phone and that kind of stuff in there. Um, the mattress is firm, but it's not too firm. And there's definitely plenty of room for two adults in here. I would say no more than two adults. Uh, what I will say is this rear door here, it's nice and easy access, but if you're gonna come in the side, these doors open downward. So you're gonna have to roll these off and climb over the doors, uh, but that's not that big a deal. There is a little vent up here for ventilation, and uh, I don't know. Oh, the shoe bag. I love the shoe bag. It just hooks right on to those uh, little T slots right there. That's going to be super nice. It's a nice little tent. This is going to be perfect for me. Look, I'm not going to be living in here for days and days. I'm just need a place to sleep. This is a perfect little resting area. Well, I think my initial review of the Roof Nest Falcon is pretty positive. I'm excited to get out on the trail and start doing a little camping and putting this thing through its paces. Obviously, you'll see it being used out on some future trips. We've got a lot of trips planned in 2020 and this thing's going to get a lot of use. And you know, I mentioned before, my plan is to do some reviews of some other rooftop tents from some other manufacturers and maybe even talk to some other people on how they like their rooftop tents. If there's a specific rooftop tent you'd like me to review here on the channel, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to try to do that. I'm super excited to use this thing. I don't know if you can tell, but I really, really, really think this is going to be a great tent. Now, if you are visiting Trail Recon for the first time, I would love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. So please hit that subscribe button. Always remember to travel the trails responsibly. Thanks for watching.